so one of my goals for this year is to start producing more content and consistently. And I figured one way to get there as a baby step or a building block is to create vlogs. Now vlogs should be relatively easy, especially if you're doing static vlogs, as in vlogs that are just already set up, ready to go, and you just talk to your camera and you stream out your inner stream of consciousness. Now, for me, they're not easy and they're not a habit yet, but I want them to be. And if there's one thing I've learned about forming habits is that you need to create a process that removes the barriers that make you not want to do that thing. In my case, it's getting the camera set up, getting everything nice and ready, getting the sound turned on properly, and having to do a whole bunch of work and stuff before I can hit record and get my thoughts onto that SD card. I want to create a process that makes it as easy and as simple and as quick as possible to get started recording. And that's where a tripod mount comes into play. So to get started with this whole vlogging thing, I made a couple of decisions. I was going to use my iPhone as my main camera. There's a couple of reasons for this. I can probably make a video about it. Number one, it's always with me. It's always ready to go. Just whip it out and start recording. And number two, makes it very easy for me to take files and transfer it over to my iPad if I'm ever gonna be doing editing without my laptop. Then I started thinking about the rest of my setup. I'm gonna need some audio, and for that, I have this sort of like Rode video mic, but like, where is it going to latch onto? This thing uses something called a cold shoe, and my phone does not have a cold shoe adapter on it because it's not a regular camera. And second of all, speaking of mounting, how is this going to go onto a tripod? Like there's, there's no way to do it. So this is where I need to start thinking about what my options were. Now, thankfully for me, because I have a huge problem with spending a lot of money on buying production gear and not really doing a lot of production, uh, I had a lot of knickknacks and stuff laying around. Uh, research for me was just looking in my gear closet where I came across this little doodad. This is in fact a tripod mount. This enables you to put your phone onto it just like that. It has a cold shoe adapter so you can put the cold shoe on top. But there is a slight problem with this, mainly in the whole mounting mechanism. Number one, to get your phone onto it, you need to like do this. You need to make sure you can fiddle it on properly and not hit the emergency button, which it is right now, is gonna call the cops. And second of all, most of these don't have cold shoe adapters. Thankfully, this one does though. This wasn't really gonna cut it for my need in terms of being a one-stop shop, mainly because of the two situations that I'm gonna be in. As a static vlogger, one where I'm talking into the camera like this, I'm not really gonna change up the setup. Every time I'm ready to record, I have to put my phone onto this clamp, just waste time doing it. Also, I gotta move my tripod, it ruins the shot. The second problem with this is if I'm doing dynamic vlogging, in the sense that if I'm out and about and I'm you know, running and gutting and trying to shoot things. With this, I have to take my phone out and clamp it on, which means that there's the time required to do it. The more time it takes to clamp it on here is less time I have to get the shot, which means I might miss the action. And second is, whenever I'm, it's in this clamp, I can't use my phone. My phone becomes my camera and I'm kind of stuck not being able to make calls or do any of the things I need to do here. So like overall, could the solution work? Yes. Is it the best? Not really. But I figured that's all there was and I was willing to accept that as a way of life. This was going to be the status quo until I was scrolling around one day on TikTok. Or was it YouTube? Or was it Insta? All of, all of them. It's all blending together in COVID. But in one of my social media binges, I came across this product. Now first, a little bit about MagSafe. No, not that tech that was on your MacBook, then off your MacBook, and then back on your MacBook. This is MagSafe for iOS devices. MagSafe is a tech that's available on all iPhone devices 12 and newer, and it mainly works by having magnets placed around the main charging coil of the iPhone. There's two functions for this. The first one is that it enables your phone to do induction charging or wireless charging. This is where you'll see phones plugging onto a charging puck or onto a charging dock and then able to charge that way as opposed to having your lightning cable go on. The second thing that MagSafe is used for is for MagSafe support accessories like this wallet. With MagSafe, this wallet stays on your phone and uh, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't really move. It's just another way of adding on accessories for your phone, similar to how people used to use lightning for things. So back to this tripod mount, what makes it so special? Well, as it reads on the tin, it's a tripod mount. 
It's got three features. One, it's got a quarter inch thread on the bottom, which means you can attach it onto a tripod or any sort of uh, quarter inch screwed thread attachment. Uh, it has a cold shoe mount, so you can slide in your mic into here, just like I did earlier. Just like, just gonna, just, just like that. And third, but most importantly, it uses MagSafe. And what it allows you to do is, when you're ready to record, just slap your phone on, just like a wallet, and you're good to go. It has a bunch of other mounting options too. If you're worried that your phone is not secure enough, there's actually, uh, the cold shoe attachment can also come down and latch on for some added grip just like that. And because this is the pro version, one thing it enables you to do is go from landscape to portrait. Now portraits use if you're doing TikToks or Instagram mobile or any sort of social media video. And the way to do that is you unscrew the cold shoe mount, turn it 90 degrees, screw it back on, make it nice and snug, take your phone out, snap your phone on, and you're off to the races. Some of you might be wondering, what if there's a case? Well, as long as your case is officially MagSafe certified, if it has a MagSafe uh, note on it on the, on the cover, uh, you'll be able to snap on just fine, as you can see here. And second, as long as it's relatively thin, uh, you're good to go. And even if it's not, you, there's quite a bit of generous room here for clamping down, so you theoretically have that much room to play with. For reference, I'm using the regular Apple iPhone 13 leather case with MagSafe, and that works fine, but I've also tested with a couple of other cases that I've had around me. One thing we've already talked about is this cold shoe mount, which allows you to put on a mic like this. But it's not just a mic. This cold shoe mount means any accessory with the mount can be placed on here. So perhaps a mic perhaps a light. It also comes off. So you don't wanna have your mic with you. Maybe you're just going on for a quick uh, walk outside. You, wanna, you don't wanna carry that with you. Bada bing, bada boom, screw it off. You're good to go. So this setup is great for me for when I'm doing a static vlog. If I'm gonna be doing a daily vlog every day, I'm just gonna have my tripod and audio gear set up and ready to go on my table and it's never gonna move. All I have to do when I wanna come record is, number one, take my phone out of my pocket, number two, put it on the tripod, number three, plug my mic in, number four, plus record, and then I'm off for the races. I'm spewing my stream of consciousness for this SD card and for everyone in the world to hear about my hot takes. Second thing is for dynamic vlogs, which is if I'm out there, out and about shooting, or if I'm doing a running and gunning vlogging shoot. Vlogging is not something that I'm really comfortable doing outside and in public yet. I never wanna be that guy, but maybe I just gotta be. I don't usually like having my phone and my setup out with me as I'm doing regular things. Instead, what this allows me to do is, I can put a little hand grip on the bottom here and have all of this in my pocket. And when I'm ready, I just need to take it out, snap my phone, bing, bang, boom, I got the footage. What this also means is that when I'm not recording and this is in my side, I am able to use my phone as, as a phone. I'm able to do what I wanna do on it. Browse TikToks mindlessly. But when I'm ready and I have something coming up and there's action, bing, bang, boom, good to go. I guess one question I didn't cover is, aren't you scared of the phone falling off? Not, not really. These magnets are pretty strong. I'm not sure how that's gonna go over time, but when I got it, I did a pretty significant like flop test. <laughs> I did just fine. I would say I'm pretty safe. I feel pretty comfortable with uh, bringing this around with me, even if I'm running around and getting some like high intensity shots of the, the coffee shop, I guess. So overall, I like it. I dig it and I highly recommend it. This can be the perfect centerpiece to bring all of your pieces together. It has a cold shoe adapter for your accessories and your mic, plugs into any quarter inch thread accessory like a tripod mount or a hand grip. and allows you to very quickly snap your phone on and get going. The only downside I found is the price. At time of production, it's currently $60 US, which is roughly 80 Canadian pesos, which is definitely not the cheapest option out there. One of these doodads can go for about 10 to $30 Canadian, and you know, it'll get the job done. However, the build quality on this piece of kit is pretty good. It is made of aluminum, metal, it has a metallic finish, which feels very nice in your hand. It looks very sleek and modern, and it is your only MagSafe option out there. So as far as being the only option for doing MagSafe, 
I think the price might be justified. So all in all, perfect one piece setup for your iPhone vlogging setup. Works great for static shots. You just have your tripod set up, you plop your phone in, you can get going quickly. If you're out and about and your setup is away, it makes your time to get recording much, much quicker. So that's it for me, folks. I hope you enjoyed this really quick review on this Moment Tripod Mount Pro with MagSafe. Uh, if you enjoyed this, let me know. This is my first time doing it. Uh, if you liked it, leave a like, leave a comment. If you've actually been using this and you have more reviews on it, leave a note in the comments. Uh, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe and I'll produce more of this for you. All right, that's it for now. Hope you all are doing well. Stay safe. See you later.